what is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel now today we are going to talk about my story how i got here how i went from 70,000 followers on tiktok to 3.7 million followers i don't have my account anymore but i i had that account for years and i've been trying to grow it but how everybody thinks that my overnight sensation of going viral was just overnight. When truly, I was making videos for about two years consistently. And I was growing consistently like 10,000 followers a month, you know. And from 10,000 followers, I was growing a million a month. And that was like crazy. And uh, this is how it happened, y'all. Let me tell y'all the story of how I went viral. It all started December 2020. Was it 2021? Yeah, December 2021. Because it wasn't 2020. It was 2021 because Encanto came out in November 2021, I believe the end of November. And um, I didn't even know the movie was out, but I did see a preview a while ago and I forgot I, I saw it, um, but I didn't think of anything of it. But I did see a preview a while ago, and I was like, whatever. You know, I didn't really see the big sister. I just saw, you know, the, ah, you know, I encanto, or <laughs> oh, whatever. But this is, this is how I got to where I am today. Um, I was posting like four or five, sometimes eight videos a day consistently sometimes even using the same sound you know um i was just going based off of what i liked what i didn't like and then posting spiritual videos body positivity videos and those did well too i think my most viewed video was like almost a million views or a hundred and something thousand views at the time i'm not sure uh but i did have a like two videos hit a couple hundred thousand or a million before i had one actual like overnight viral sensation. But when I went viral, you guys, I didn't know what to think of it. I didn't know how to react because to me, I was just normal. Like, okay, cool, more views. You know, like I just thought it was cool. <laughs> I never, I did a student, I never processed it. I never processed the whole success thing. I was just like a very normal person and I get nervous every time people would come up to me and ask for pictures. And I was just like, smile and wave, boys, you know, like just act normal. Um, yeah, it was just very nerve wracking for me uh, when it happened. So, the Louisa blow up. Mm. I was getting comments. One of my followers was commenting, hey, you look like that uh, big sister off of that movie. Uh, her name is Louisa. And I was like, like what movie? You know, I didn't know. I didn't know. I was like, what movie? And they're like, um, they didn't even know the full. They they called the movie El Encanto, so <laughs> they didn't even know the actual name of the movie. So I just looked it up on YouTube, and then I look, I looked up uh, Luisa, and her music video like came up, and um, Surface Pressure, and I just watched the whole video, and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. And I had another comment, they're like, you should cosplay her. And I was like, you know what, why not? And like, I did, I did a video of not even cosplaying her. I did a video of like me like mimicking her song in like a gray shirt and a bun. Um, and I was like, this song is more than just a song to me, it's my story. You know, it tells my life story. And I was like all serious. And this is when I was doing my gym video. So I just was in the gym bathroom and I was just like doing that. And that video alone hit over, I think, 45 million views. I was gonna guess, I was gonna say 62 million, but that was a different video. Um, hit 45 million. You guys, that video was skyrocketing. And like, it wasn't even three days later, I looked at my phone again and I was like, what the heck? And like my, my followers, views everything is going up and they're like oh my god you got a cosplay hair oh my god and they're like people are commenting like people were duetting this video kids were duetting this video it just it started blowing up 
And I was like, okay, I got to cosplay her now because now everybody is like, oh my God, you look so much like her. You have to cosplay her. I was like, oh, you know what? I didn't even know what cosplaying was at the time either. And I was like, what's cosplaying? And like when you dress up as a character and I was like, oh, and I was like, oh my, you know, I, my friends used to do that. And I was like, you know what? Let me just, let me try it. Let me try it. I was so scared to cosplay Louisa. I was terrified to cosplay Louisa. And so I was like, how do I do this? And people were hitting me up, like, I'll buy you this, uh, whatever you got to need. So I, I set up, was it a GoFundMe or Cash App or whatever? And people started sending me money to get the costume. I ordered the skirt off of eBay. And then the shirt, I handmade it. I bought a plain white shirt from Walmart. I started, st I super glued certain things on there in the bow. I was cutting it up. I like spent 24 to 48 hours trying to make that shirt as perfect as possible because guys i'm not no sewer and i'm not no like seamstress or like clothes designer and, and i definitely thought the shirt looked horrible everybody else thought it was amazing after the 24 hour 24 to 48 hours it took me to make this shirt um now i had to do my hair grab the bow everything i had to make sure it was perfect everything aligned that the earrings that she had everything i was like i want it to be perfect and so then i got on the camera i looked up her sound on tiktok and uploaded and i was like and i did the surface pressure and i did the same mimicking but this time i added more expression more facial expressions more you know like i was this time i was aligning with the sound because the other one i didn't even know full, the full lyrics i just knew some of it um and then i uploaded it i was so scared you guys I, I uploaded it and then that video took off and then i uploaded another one and that video took off and then every video after that just kept taking off and it kept going viral and it wasn't even me not posting louisa videos it was just every other video i was posting i had new stations hitting me up I had story, uh, was it a Snapchat stories hit me up to do a story on me to, about my life story, what they wanted to know about my life. And I was like, you know, I adopted my siblings. I've always had to be the strong one. I've always had to take care of my family, you know, and be there for my siblings and ha sometimes had to parent my own mother, you know, and that story went out and that story went viral. And then I uploaded my story onto TikTok that went viral and then just it's just new stations brands everything after that was like a sensation and then i got on the kelly clarkson show never in a million years did i ever think that i would ever meet kelly clarkson on zoom it wasn't in person but it was on zoom like i absolutely love her i used to sing her songs all the time when i was a kid but i did not know how to act <laughs> like i didn't know how to how people say how to be a celebrity you know what i'm saying like i was so for me it was so random so i was just like a regular person every time someone saw, saw me or anything like that even when someone meets me now like i'm still just a regular person to me i never let the fame take you know my character i was always just normal about it like oh cool hi you know it's nice to meet you you know like that's literally how i am even if anybody if, if, if my followers have met me before you guys know that i'm like I just like smile <laughs> or I like I say hi or I have like a mini conversation with you. You know, I'm very like normal about it. Um, you won't catch me out here and be like, do you know who I am? Because I'm pretty sure not a lot of people know me. I went viral, but a lot of kids knew me, you know, so it was just really cool. It was amazing to get that experience. Um, I went to L.A. back and forth, started getting flights and bookings. It was just all of it was a dream come true it never felt real it felt like i was living a dream or a fantasy and one day i was gonna wake up from it that's what it felt like i didn't know how to intake everything that was coming towards me yes i manifested it and i could talk about that later but i didn't know how to how to take what was coming to me i didn't know how to like grab it and be like okay you know now now let's make something of it i didn't know how i didn't even know how to turn it into a business I was just like, what do I do now? And I, like, yeah, I went viral, but like, what do I do now? You guys, I was so like, how do you go? I had Stockholm syndrome severely. I didn't know what to do about it. Like everybody else thought I was just a big thing. And I was just like, 
I'm just a normal person. What are you talking about? That's how I felt. And that's how I still feel, you guys. So that's my story about my time that I went viral. And here I am. Uh, <laughs> it's very awkward talking about my stories and stuff like that. But I do want to talk more about like my life and my story and how I got to where I am. And next video, I will get into trauma. And that's a little more harder to talk about because I'm still learning to process it and talk about it and be safe in the space to feel secure in it. So I love y'all. Please like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see more. And if you would like to get a course from me to learn new things, do understand that I am not a certified professional. I have to put that out there. I'm not a certified professional. But I do have an experience in it, and I've experienced it on my own and done my own inner work that I'm able to give you guys knowledge of what, about what I learned. So it's only coming from what I learned, not because I'm a professional. Yeah, okay. Anyways, like this video. Talk to y'all later. I cannot wait to see you guys on another video on Sunday. Love y'all. Peace.